good morning guys happy monday welcome back to a new vlog if you aren't yet subscribed and my face is completely new this is my face if it's completely new to your screen please go hit the subscribe button i would really appreciate it and also thank you for 15,000 subscribers this is honestly insane honestly like i can't believe it i didn't ever expect to be i mean to do what i do today and honestly it's like it's surreal so yeah i really want to thank everyone for supporting me and just believing in me and just trusting me and just you know just just loving who i am and um yeah i am going to the gym now so this morning i had a makeup client at eight o'clock and um yeah so i did someone's makeup at eight o'clock and now you know usually i go to gym on a monday to seven and eight but i skipped last week the whole week because i got a new tattoo and you're supposed to wait like four weeks or something but um i didn't wait that long so um the petrol lights are we gonna start every single vlog with the petrol lights on Fuck. um but yeah i didn't go to gym last week so we are going to gym this week again okay? you're supposed to wait four weeks but i've already got a tattoo that's botched anyways might as well just add to the add to the collection so yeah i am gonna quickly have to go for the petrol because i don't know when this petrol light came on it's just a flood up because i might be late for gym then i've got what's on it's nine 39 i need to be there at 10 so yeah i'm going to gym a lot later today but from wednesday and from wednesday i'll be going to gym at the usual time so guys i'm back from gym now i've also i went grocery shopping it is 121 and um yeah basically i am going to be filming a video now but um before I realized um, I'm filming the real Lumi Spa versus fake Lumi Spa, um, the dupe of it. And instead of putting it on charge last night, the new one, the dupe, um, yeah, it's flat. So I'm gonna just sit and edit for a little bit until it's charged enough to film the video, or unless it's until it's fully charged, because I still got last week's weekly vlog. I haven't edited anything on that vlog, so I think I should just sit and edit that, and then <laughs> then I'll film the video a little bit later. It is, yeah, it's still like fairly early um i'm not used to going to gym that late like i just like to get it over and done with early in the day so that it's like completely done i've done what i needed to do and you know you know what i'm trying to say anyways i am going to edit now i've got an iced coffee i'm so busy drinking from lunch and yeah i also realized i don't know how i I ever intermittent fasted. I am so bleak that I went to gym because I don't like to eat before I go to gym because otherwise I feel like kochi. So I don't know, I'm like really bleak that my first meal was only at like 11 o'clock, well actually at 12 o'clock because now I've got like one less meal to eat in a day because I really love food. I'm kind of upset about that but we'll get over it. I'm gonna make butter chicken curry. Butter chicken curry. I'm gonna make butter chicken curry for dinner tonight because I took our chicken breast that we were gonna make yesterday. I was gonna make chicken burgers yesterday and then we ended up ordering pizza. Sunday vibes. So guys, I've just finished filming and um, well, I finished filming about 20 minutes ago. Just made myself a little afternoon snack. So yeah, let's go downstairs and go and eat that. And then I'm also gonna edit. So that's the plans. So let's put the editing glasses on. So this is my afternoon snack. Got my lactose free yogurt. I got bran flakes, berries, and a honey drizzle. Yum. For someone that's been in the sun, you're rather... I don't know, you don't look very tanned. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Um, what's today's plans, mister? We're gonna go make burgers at your house. You're not doing... Oh! <laughs> Sorry. You're not doing any work. Aren't we already leaving at 12? Yeah, but it's only <laughs> 9 o'clock. <laughs> Okay, well, I am going to go and clean Blaze's car because I am a big um, culprit of how dirty it is. Oh, yeah, he's doing November, by the way. If you didn't notice. 
I'm sure everyone noticed. <laughs> so I'm gonna go clean Blaze's car now because I messed it up like a crazy bitch. And then um, at 12 ish, we're going to my mom and them. My mom and them. You know, my mom and them. It's just for JT. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're gonna go have burgers and it's apparently gonna be like 27 degrees today, so I love summer. It's my favorite season. I thrive in summer, so Yeah, I know you hate summer. But I don't I'm, hate summer. You like lying on the couch and watching movies and in blankets and with heaters on. That's your vibe. I wish you like. I like having like no clothing on and like oh, just li <laughs> lying in the sun. But anyways, I'm gonna go clean Blaze's car now and vacuum it and all of that cuck, so. Now what's the vibe? Is it party time? Wanna move my feet? Wanna drink my wine? Feeling the vibe? We are so lit. Is it me and you now? Let me smoke that vibe. Feeling so fly. Wanna dance with you? Rhythm takes control. Okay, so this is my outfit of the day. I'm wearing my new cotton on shorts. These are the boyfriend denim shorts. I like them because they're like shorts, but they like not like super like up the ass vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like they are nice length and they're like comfy and they don't ride up by my thighs. They stay, they stay put. So yeah, and then this top is from Superbalist and. So yeah guys, that's my outfit, super cute, super summery, and we're going to go to the shops now, and then we're going to go to my house. Wednesday. I am going to gym now. I don't have my watch on. That's the problem. Also, I bought an Apple Watch last night. <laughs> I bought an Apple Watch off of um, technically my stepdad, but his his name that we all call him is JT. So I bought his Apple Watch, and um, yeah, it's the Series Three though. And I tried to put it on my wrist this morning and the strap is obviously a men's size strap. So it's a little too big for me. So I'm just going to order a strap on Take A Lot. Because I don't think I can get one in Jeffrey's Bay. Jeffrey's Bay is useless. So yeah, I might just put the Apple Watch and just like pull it up on my arm. And then from there, I'm still busy installing all the new software and all of that. So yeah, I've got an Apple Watch. It's, um, it's not the newest one, but it's better than the Fitbit Inspire. What is it? Inspire HR. HR Inspire. So yeah, guys. Um, anyways, I am going to go to gym now. Um, and then it's leg day today, so I'm excited. I'm also not very keen though. Like, I'm feeling hella bloated because period. Is that time? Is that time? So... Yeah, not fun, but we're going anyways, and we're going to embrace it, friends. We're going to embrace it, and so, yeah, I'm going to go now. Tell me now, tell me something, because I don't know how this going. gym session what a leg day let me tell you my trainer does not come to play my friends <laughs> when she says it's gonna be a hectic leg day she doesn't lie um anyways i finally got my apple watch um set up but obviously it only set up <laughs> as i walked out of the gym so oh, i need a new strap though because this one is like way too big for my arm 
but that's what happens when you bar an Apple Watch off someone, you know, just randomly. But yeah, I'm officially an Apple Watch owner. This is the bigger um, front though. So it is kind of large, but oh, it's all good. I need to figure out how to work an Apple Watch. What, why, I'm not doing a work, are you mad? Okay, well, I'm actually dripping in sweat. She is dripping. So let's go home. Let's go home. So I can go take a jump in the jacuzzi. It's, I say jacuzzi, but it's actually like I don't like it's not a jacuzzi to me. It's a swimming pool. It's a really shallow one. So, yeah. anyways, Lego. Um, so while I was driving, I actually just had to take my top off because <laughs> I was getting so hot. Like, and I had the aircon on number four with it blowing only at my face. I turned off the other side so I could get like all the air and I was just dying. And the air outside is hotter than anything I've experienced. Also, I don't know if it's only me, but like I am so like happy that um, the gyms aren't allowed to turn on their air cons because it just makes you sweat more so you get rid of more like sift shit in your body. You know. <laughs> simplest way to put it so um yeah i kind of like it but i know like I, when i gym i hear a lot of people like complaining and moaning but i mean obviously it's understandable because if you like i don't know like is covid like officially slightly airborne virus or not because there's always like no no no, no coronavirus isn't an airborne disease it's virus and then the next person says no there's like little particles that can actually travel through the air so like i understand in the sense that obviously recycled air could like spread things but i mean it doesn't really bother me if it's on or off anyways so guys i am going to do my makeup now and um I'm gonna film a video and then I think after that for the rest of the day I'll most likely edit. So I've got a video to edit and then I'm obviously gonna have to edit the one that I'm gonna film now. I also bought a new camera today. I bought a new vlogging camera, can you believe it? I bit the bullet and I bought it. Um, I've been wanting to buy it though for so long now so I just, it, it's been in my shopping cart on my wish list for your since like May when I started seeing an Australian YouTuber that I watch use the camera and then obviously um, a lot of some of our um, popular South African vloggers got sent the camera from Sony so yeah and then I saw their content with the camera and it's insane so very happy with what I chose I think it's going to be a really really nice camera for me and it's also very small and compact I'm happy with it well I don't know yet but I'm sure I will be happy with it I mean so far I'm not a very fussy person when it comes to cameras so anything other than this big bulky camera that I've been vlogging on is better so guys I've just taken off all of my makeup and I really just wanted to mention like the skincare that I'm using because my skin has honestly never looked this good in my life. I've just excused this mark and this mark. These aren't pimples. These are actually... We have birds in the roof and the guy can only help us. Um, when is it? Only next week. And it's Wednesday today, so it's a long wait. And there's these little bug mite things biting me everywhere. It's one thing to the next. First it's ringworm from the cats and now it's little mites. Or piece like lice. Oh, God. It's just never ending. But I just want quickly wanted to do my skincare with you guys. So I use dot skin if you guys don't know. Um, you can use my discount code if you want. My discount code is SD Skin, and that will give you 10% off if you're interested. And yeah, I just love the product so much. They do so much for my skin and they make my skin feel incredible. My f I, I would say if you are looking to invest in dot skin i would say the must-haves are definitely the cleanser it's also such a big bottle and it's like 375 rand so it's 125 mils of cleanser it's a it's a bargain and then my favorite serum when it comes to the different serums there's a hydrating serum and there's a sensitive like calming serum i really like the sensitive calming serum it just i find it more um I don't know, it just works really well with my skin and I've got very red inflamed cheeks so it works well for me. And then I would say the cleanser, a serum of your choice and then a moisturizer. So they have two different moisturizers, I'm just still using 
the winter one. So this is the moisturizer that's rich. They do have a moisturizer that's more light. I think I might switch to that one next time when this one's finished. I'll switch to the light one for summer. But yeah, I would say if you are looking to invest in the products, definitely start with the cleanser, then get a serum, and then your moisturizer. This would be your basic starter kit from Dot Skin. And then um, you could also buy the SPF from them if you are interested. I love the SPF because it's a, it's more of a, what is it? It's a physical and not a chemical SPF. So it's not like one that takes a while to activate before you go in the sun. It's instant, so it protects you instantly from the sun. So yeah, I really love these products. But yeah, I definitely recommend if you want to try the products, you don't need each and every product that I use. Um, I am fortunate to be um, a brand ambassador for them, so I do get my skincare from them. If you are looking to invest, definitely just the cleanser, a serum, and then your moisturizer. That's like top. One pump of my SPF. This is a SPF 30. And I love this because it gives your skin like this nice orangey, summery glow. Um, it's Friday morning. I don't know when last I actually vlogged. I'm not even sure. I think I. What's going on? Oh God. <laughs> so, I don't know when last I actually vlogged, but. I'm on my way to gym now, as per usual. Um, I'm honestly so tired today. Like, I don't know if I'm going to make it through gym because I trained legs on Wednesday, and now I've also I trained legs yesterday as well because I was sore after Wednesday, but I wasn't like very very sore. So I just felt like I should um, just train my legs a little bit harder. Because I feel like I don't train my legs enough anymore. But yeah, I'm still trying to figure out this whole this whole gym schedule thing with the trainer. So yeah, I am very happy with her though. She's really strengthened my upper body. Guys, so I just got back from gym. Let's just put you this way. Why am I so like pink? I don't know. Maybe I'm just losing all my tan, so I'm going pink again. I'm out of breath. Anyways, um, yeah, I just got back from gym. I am so dead after this week of gym. Like, I really killed myself, like, next level. For reals. Also, yeah, anyways, that's not, like, it's, gym is done now. Like, it's done for the week. Um, what did I want to say? Oh, um, I ordered a new vlogging camera. Like, how exciting is that? And... I am really impressed. Usually I have the worst service from Take A Lot. Like, I'm just going to be honest. Like, I always order there, but I always have the shittest service. But it is the most convenient place to order from all the time. So I just do order from them. But usually their shipping takes forever. And, you know, like, I understand all good and well that you're busy with, like, orders and stuff. But, like, sometimes I feel like they're really... Um, take advantage of the outlying area um situation so like obviously jeffrey's bay isn't a major city it's like outside of pe and pe is a major city but like let's be real it doesn't take you two days to package to like get an order ready and then only send it off like four days later you know what i mean and then it still takes like three days to get you so usually if i order from take lot it would okay well for example here's an order i ordered on the 2nd of october and i got my order oh no sorry i ordered on the 19th of september and i only got my order on the 2nd of october like that's how orders work for me on take a lot and then my makeup desk that i bought from take a lot i placed the order on the 17th and i only got the order on the 29th of september so that's how long it usually takes so i am super shocked at how quick I placed my order on Take A Lot 
I mean, obviously this is how it is for people in Joburg and Cape Town if Take A Lot is doing their jobs. And yeah, anyways, I placed my order on Wednesday and today it's already out for delivery. So I'm getting my new vlogging camera today already. Like, oh my gosh, that's so exciting. I didn't think I'd have it for next week's vlog as well. But now I'm going to have it for next, to end of this vlog and for next week's vlog. Also, I've got a lot of work to do. So I'm going to get myself showered because I'm all sweaty. I sweat so much. I'm just a sweater. Like, I've just had to accept that I just, I just sweat so bad in the gym so i just yeah i literally like my clothing is wet when i leave the gym guys i just finished filming i'm gonna edit a little bit later i need to get my ass into gear and get ready um why is my bronzer looking so patchy it's the lighting or is it actually patchy oh well it doesn't matter i'm gonna get my face washed and cleaned and treated now anyways sorry i obviously can't go like this because this is just not a vibe <laughs> well it is a vibe but i'll get looked at funny and shit do you guys think I have always been so self-conscious of wearing shorts to the gym just because I've got so much cellulite on the back of my legs and I don't know I just I'm scared I don't know I've always my legs have always been my biggest insecurity but do you think I'm gonna please show you guys in the mirror do you think that these pants are like a decent pair of pants to gym in like if I had to gym like do you think these are like a good length or are they still too short I feel like there's such a fine line between stuff that looks nice when gymming and then stuff that just looks like super like, I don't know, just, I don't know, like mm, not my vibe. So I'd rather just always wear like leggings and then a crop top, you know. I don't know, but do you guys think that these would be fine to gym in? I've just never been someone, because I've just, my legs have always been my biggest insecurity. I've never been someone that's gymmed in shorts at, or ran in shorts or anything. I've always just worn leggings because my insecurities are my legs but yeah they're slowly getting there so that i'm less insecure about them like i'm trying to build the muscle on the side and all of that but yeah i don't know everyone's got their own insecurities i know i received a couple of dms after my last video talking about like wanting to lose not lose weight but just try and reduce the cellulite and eat better but i mean everyone has their insecurities we just have to accept that's something that you think looks absolutely perfect on someone else they're insecure about and that's just one of the things about being a woman we are just so insecure about something on our body and it's just never good enough for any of us so yeah do you guys think that these would be okay to gym in? let me know down in the comments it would be great to know i've also got a green pair these are cotton on body i love them so much ask you yes. around my chin over here can yeah. you see all these bumps? little small little bumps what are they mask Where really the mask? you see this all the time yeah it's that heat of your breath literally underneath that mask all of these yeah yeah it, it might be that let me rather put it that way um so if it gets more redder more irritated then it's the mask it can be the most, but it can also then be a contact dermatitis. That where you touch something and then touch your skin and that irritated your skin. And that could be numerous things. Plants, animals, whatever. Is it burning? And itching? It's just slightly itchy. Slightly itchy. Yeah. Let me make up all the wrongs I did. I did. Friends, so 
If you can't tell, we have a new camera welcoming herself onto the channel. So this is my new baby. This is the Sony ZV-1. I've just switched from my um, Canon M50 because it's so bulky. Like even if the quality may be better than this, we'll see though because apparently this one has like incredible focus. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Although I think this quality is... It looks good. We'll see when you import it onto a laptop because usually the screen doesn't really show like a true representation of what it looks like when it's actually on a laptop. Sorry, I am actually about to shave my pits <laughs> and shave my legs and I'm going to do my RPL um, at home laser machine now because I've been doing it now for a little while. I just haven't really included it into the vlogs because I do have a full video on that. So you guys will see that video soon. And yeah, other than that, I'm obsessed with my new camera. Um, I might do a video all about it, we'll see. Let me know down below if you guys are interested in seeing anything like got to do with cameras. But like, the one thing I love about it, I'll, I'll show you guys on Instagram or whatever. But you've already seen, if you follow me on Instagram, I did like a little size comparison of what I was using versus what, how small this one is. It's so tiny compared to... My Canon, but my Canon will still be set up and will be used for makeup videos because I can change my lens on my Canon camera. But yeah, guys, um, let me get to shaving my body and shaving these legs. Wow, I'm actually quite agile. No, I'm not. Okay, she lied. Anyways, let me go. So I just thought I'd quickly sit down and turn on all of my lights so we can just see how good this camera is like in terms of like if you want to use it for your makeup videos and stuff and I don't know it seems it seems like it's not all too bad like this is definitely I don't know I, this I feel like the screen that they put on this camera to make the inside of the camera good but also like not put too much money into the screen I feel like the screen doesn't do the quality of the content I don't know, maybe it's, yeah, I don't know, just for me it doesn't do the, the screen doesn't do what you're seeing justice, but we'll see when I import it onto my laptop, because from what I've seen, this camera is amazing, so, yeah, I just, I'm just busy testing it, because it's like my new baby, whenever I get something, I open up it immediately and I start playing with it, that's just the kind of person I am. One more thing before I officially go, um, I keep touching the screen because my Canon's screen is touch screen so I can like touch it and like swap through photos and videos and press play on the screen with my Canon but this one isn't touch screen so it's kind of weird because usually if I'm taking a video on my Canon one I just touch the screen where I want it to focus is it touch screen? what? why doesn't it work? it's only touch screen when it wants to be Okay, wait, I'm talking shit. It is touchscreen. But it doesn't work with certain features. Okay, I'm still busy figuring it out. I'm still busy figuring it out. And also, I've never been a Sony user. I've only ever used Canon. And then before Canon, I literally tested out a Nikon and, or Nikon or whatever people call it. And I didn't like that for shit. Um... So then I was always a Canon girl, and then when Sony released this camera, like, it, they played into content creators' hands. Like, this camera is apparently made for content creators. That's why there's literally a button on the corner here called background blur. Like, it defocuses your background. Do it like this. Okay, look at my drawers. Can you see? It defocused them. And then they're more clear. And you know, he played into influencers' hands with this camera, honestly. So, yeah, I've never used a Sony, so this is just like my first time ever playing with a Sony camera, so I'm still learning. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it. It's so small, fits into my handbag, and that's all I've ever wanted. Because I can never, that's why my vlogs are always so kind of all over the place, because when I'm in public, I can't carry my camera around, because it's just too big. It's just too big to physically do that. So now I can at least close this one, pop it in my handbag, and actually film good quality when I'm out and about.
I've just finished doing my makeup. Um, this whole situation took a lot longer than I thought. So I'm not going to be able to finish my Zaffel haul. I'm not going to be able to film it now. But I do need to take a whole bunch of thumbnails for YouTube videos. Because as I've mentioned, I film the video and then I take all my makeup off. And then I realise, oh shit, you haven't filmed. I mean, you haven't taken a photo of your um, thumbnail. So, yeah, I'm just going to take, I need to take two different thumbnails. One for my Lumi Spa dupe video, and then one for my My Smooth Skin IPL video. Sorry. Let me get my ass moving, because we need to leave in like 45 minutes. Because we are going to go watch the Man United game at the Mexican. So... So this is my outfit, just casual summer vibes because, yeah, we're not going on like a fancy dinner, we're just going to go watch the game, so, oh. everyone good morning today is sunday um i'm so exhausted um i feel like this week has been the longest week of my life honestly like it's, it's been so long <laughs> anyways um so it's, i'm gonna end off this vlog now i hope you guys enjoyed watching thank you so much for watching if you watched all the way to the end and with that being said hope you guys have a great monday or tuesday i don't know when i'm gonna upload this hopefully tomorrow but then i'll have two videos up tomorrow for you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!